Oh, are you telling me that the yeah. Jews considered yeah. the Holy Spirit someone Many. other than God the Father? No, they considered him to be a manifestation of the one God. But was he the Father? As a Christian coming into Christianity, this was the doctrine that someone said, if you can't explain it, how can you believe it? So you're saying, saying no. wait a minute. Yeah. So same you're word. saying the Father the is the Holy Spirit? The Father, the Holy Spirit proceeds from the Father. There he goes again. Yeah. The Jews did not perfect their monotheism. Throughout their history, they kept slipping. So they were told to worship the one God. Mm. What yeah. you should be concerned about yeah. is not what the Jews might or might not have done, or what they may or may not have believed. What is important for you, mm. Colin, and for yeah. me, and for the brothers here and sisters yeah. here, yeah. is that we do what is in accordance to the teachings of the Creator. as the Messiah. Yeah. Yes, so we got the only true God and we got the Messiah. Two distinct entities. Do you agree? Yes. Yeah. If Jesus affirms and confirms in that passage mm. that the only true God is the Father, right. would you then oppose that as a but Trinitarian? Only, no, I would. Because Jesus no. is, is someone who I believes hope, in no, a I've Unitarian. Given you a same yes to everything. Same you said. I hope I've given Chapter you a one, yes to one. everything that you said. Yeah. Now, could I go back to what I initially was saying right. is that I recognize God as a Father. What do you mean by that? Jew. That's what I'm trying well, to ask you. Okay. Because when you say father, yeah, father yes. can mean I can have children, I'm a father. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. This brother could okay. be a father, he could have children. For sure. Do you, now, God obviously oh, well, is not the father that. in the same way, right? It's not because my we don't believe God. Father, right. No. So we believe that God the father simply means the one who created the way, everything. The way you think um, right? the father. Uh, James, James. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we're asking yeah. the way Colin thinks. Yeah. Well, exactly. It's okay. important. Okay. Colin defines exactly what he means I by do. this word. I because do. you see, the word father, okay. which is, I think, uh, uh, Abba. Abba. Yeah. Abba is not used in, in the Old Testament in Hebrew, right? Uh, not oh, that, yes. Not that yeah. I know. Abba is yeah. more of a uh, personal. Personal yeah. father. They use personal. Elohim or Elohim. Adonai right. or right. some sure. other titles. Okay. Right. Well, following the Old Testament as the foundation of Christianity, I, my research has led me to the conclusion that was God known as Father in the Old Testament. And all I can do is tell you what they are explaining to me. And it says, O Lord, thou art Father, doubtless thou art Father, is he not thy Father? Lord God of Israel, our Father forever, thou shalt call me Father. father. If I take what, all of those what, what together, it, what, what is, could what, we disagree what is, what with? What is the Hebrew word for Father that they use there? Do you know? No, no, please help me No, out. no, it'd be interesting to know yeah. because often mm. with Hebrew... It make any no, no, it does no, make no, a big... No, 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 in Hebrew, and I'm not saying that this is the case here, by the way. I'm not yeah. trying to throw a red herring. I'm just saying that it's very, very important because from my experience, yeah. many times Christians bring a translation mm. that actually the Jews don't even agree with. Yeah. Okay. Because that particular word in Hebrew, yeah. no, no, I'm just saying, that particular yeah. word in Hebrew, they translate it differently. Okay. No, but my point to you is this, even if we, even if we argue yeah. that you believe this, right? I believe, yeah. And even if we argue for argument's sake that that is what it says, my point to you was not what it says. Mm -hmm. My point to you is, what do you believe and think of this term father okay. to mean? I'm not allowing my thoughts to go anywhere beyond the acceptance that the Jews acknowledged God as father and king, as imminent and transcendent, as close and as far away. And you're right, the translation, just to briefly touch and respond to what you said, Avinu Malkainu was one of their oldest prayers, and it's called our Father, our King. They saw him as both. Right. I accept that without going into giving, like, my version of the Nicene Creed no, 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 and breaking you, down I, the I, theological I'll tell you why it's important, it. though. Tell me, yeah. Because if your view of Father is yeah. God Almighty, the one and only, the creator of everything, I have no problem with that term. Yeah. yeah. I have no problem with that term. So we're happy. But if your concept of the word yeah. father is mm -hmm. the father of the begotten son, Jesus. Okay, I then see what you're we saying. Have a what you're saying is because, if I fall because then the Quran is and then try and make it your mind. Because, okay. because, because <laughs> I have to yeah. be honest. No, I, I understand. Because the Quran explicitly says, Lam <laughs> yalid <laughs> wa lam yulad. No, 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 that's the corruption. <laughs> 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 please, <laughs> please, please. Lam yasul lahu kufu wa nahad. That he begetteth not, nor is he begotten, and there is nothing comparable to God. 
I can accept so, with, if, if that's your, your if, if, if you're that's, happy, I'm happy. No, no, but if, you, if that's your concept no. of the father, we don't have a problem with that. No. No. Problem my, yeah, with that. my concept of the father is the Judaic concept of the father, okay. and we'll leave but it at Judea, that. You, you know, the Jews, is, the Jews also call Abraham father. Yes, yeah, but in this Hold on, no, no, here, yeah, here okay, yeah. So the same term can be used for different people as well. Yeah, 100%. the term father, the term yeah. Elohim as well. Yeah. Yes. So these terms can be interchangeably be used for Almighty God. 100%. Can be used yeah. for humans. Absolutely. Can be used for angels. Yeah. Can even be used for false gods. For sure. But when I mean? God asks us to call him but Father, reason, I respond in calling him Father. That's the reason. You know, Does that we make look. Sense? We will all agree, whether you are a Muslim or a Christian. Yeah. Yes. Between the two religions, Christianity and Islam. We will agree that Jesus Christ mm. knew God Almighty better better than any of us here. Yeah. Yes, yeah. because as far as the Muslims are concerned, he's the Messiah. You yeah. believe he's the we Messiah. Believe, yes. He's he's the chosen one of God. For sure. Yes. For sure. Would he know who is the Almighty God? Okay. I think now we were trying to move me from my original thing that I was going to do was just break, be, basically break down why I believe in the Trinity very simply. And we're now going to the next level well, of I identification. Say, I ask the same so, question so could, my, my, my best answer at the moment is yeah. for the first step in answering the question as to this riddle of the Trinity, which mm -hmm. seems so incoherent, is I accept that God is Father as in the same way that the Jews accepted and used the word Father. So I think I'm in line at the moment with my monotheistic foundations. Yeah. If you stick we, to the Father, yes. We're happy with that. We're happy if you with stick that. only to and the Father, many, yes. Many ask but if you're going to many elaborate... Ask I'm happy. Show us no, no, the Father. So this, we're we, there. We're so, there. So how do you see yeah. the Son no, then? No, right. No, no we're going <laughs> to stick with Judaism for now. Okay, Why? because Judaism came first. Yes. So this Christianity is built on the foundation of Judaism. So well, I want to get over the tricky, uh, I want to get the tricky but ones. Yeah. Carry on. Okay, but this is my claim, so yes. I have to justify it. Okay. The second thing is the spirit. Is the spirit God, and was the spirit worshipped as God? Uh, me and Hashim, we've we've touched base on this before. You're you're aware, and I, when I say are you aware, I don't want to kind of say, well, you're ignorant of information because who who, who well, needs with, to know? With, with Christianity, I'm not. I'm I'm certainly okay. not knowledgeable enough like Hashim or Mansoor okay. or Hamza. Right. That's why I called Hashim here, because I'd rather sure. it be a, a more meaningful discussion yeah. than me well, just blabbering yeah. on about I, I was drawn to this following the route of indisputable facts and then launching out into what, where Hashim wanted to get some more depth in it. I'm, I'm aware there was the temple in Jerusalem. I'm aware that within the temple of Jerusalem there was something called the Ark of the Covenant known as the Holy of Holies. That was the dwelling place of the Spirit of God called the Shekinah Spirit of God. And if you at any time you want me to un unwrap any of the evidence I've got for this, this is where God, His presence, dwelt amongst His people. Now in Deuteronomy, it's got the Shema. In the end of Deuteronomy, there's a verse in it where God is saying, I want to meet you personally in a geographic place. I'm saying that the, this didn't break the monotheistic uh, foundations of Judaism. It showed that God had the attribute of omnipresence. Mm -hmm. So this is the difference between Muslims and Christians and Jews. We worship an omnipresent God because if he wasn't, not, none of, nothing I say is coherent or rational. So what I'm trying to say is if, if God was worshipped personally in the temple where he appeared on the Day of Atonement, that didn't break the monotheism. So I just want to you fire away. I want you to Sorry, unpack when you, that. Sorry, yeah. when you you know let's let's cut cut to the yeah, actual core yeah, of this discussion sure. because I see where you're can going with go this. To, Colin, can, can I we see, go step by step? Yeah, I, I see where you're going with this. So yeah. you're going to say the Father is God, the Holy Spirit is God, right. the Son is God. Am I right? You're going he's that direction. Not, he's not saying. Let me speak to him. You're Bible not calling. Let me speak to Colin. Now wait, wait, Colin, Colin, look. Let's say let's say you have you have shown us from the Bible. Okay, I think no, this is important. I'm listening, Shim. Let's let's say you have shown us from the Bible. This is exactly what Bob the Builder as well did. So anyone we talked about with regards to the Trinity, this is the approach they take. Okay. So they show us from the Bible yep. that the Father is God, the Son is God, the Holy Spirit is God. Amen. But the question still remains, did God ever manifest as three persons? Yes. The question is this, not only that, the other question is that, how will you make Simultaneously? this... Simultaneously? No, no, hear me out. 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 What yeah. you need to... Un really prove from the Bible is this, mm. that these three persons are one being. And okay. that is the uh, the missing link which you need to fill in. Yeah. Because yeah, no, without right. that, you're you right. will be only worshipping a tritheism, I which is think, three gods. Hashim, you're 100% right. And right. this is where I like 
I like talking to Muslims because they're using rationality and reason and asking genuine questions. And these are ones that and need Colin, to be answered. You know something else? Look, no, go on. <coughs> which I do. Can I want to remember what Hashim said yeah. though? Because yeah. I want to. You know, Colin. Back. The other thing is that fundamentally, you know, yeah, that you would agree, as Muslims would agree that this concept of God is probably the single most important thing before you can move on to anything else. It's the most talked about topic in the whole part. No, no, yeah. not talked yeah, about. Yes, I'm talking yes. about the most fundamentally yeah. important. important. Because, 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 it is, because, it is. because what saves you would condemn us and what saves us would condemn you. So it's a fundamental foundational concept. You'd agree to that, right? That's right. right. Yeah. Now we have to, I think, very rationally, very reasonably yeah. mm -hmm. acknowledge the fact that this very important, fundamentally important, foundational belief, mm. God would never have left it as a mystery. Mm. It wouldn't even be a debate here today. Mm. Mm. We Look, we Muslims don't debate about the oneness Ooh. of God. Can I, can, oh, sorry, no, no, I want to listen. My, my point, no, no. Colin, my point to you is that Muslims, throughout history, yeah, throughout yeah, history we don't have this debating of, is God one, is God two, is God three? From the very concept, the very inception of the message, Allah is one, Allah is absolute, there are no partners, no, no. and anything. You say God is no, one, please, word is one, 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 that something that could condemn you to hell or to heaven, yeah. right? To give you hell, heaven or to give you hell, and it's the most fu fundamental, foundational it's belief. Core doctrine, yeah. Core sure. doctrine. Yes. Yeah. And yet, two thousand years later, we're giving each other evidences for okay. the oneness of God or yeah. the Trinitarian a concept of God, and that is not just a concept. Sure. Between uh, Muslims see, and Christians, see, yeah. Even there are debates within the Unitarian. Christian and the Christian today about this very core, sure. fundamental to foundational be honest, belief. Would experience the same and what you as a Christian, what you as a Christian, what you, what you, Colin, Colin, what you need to do as a Christian yeah. is just spend a little bit of time pondering on the fact that the fact that you have to pull verses here and there. Yeah. Yeah. And then interpolate and, okay. and, and often exaggerate and change right. and reinterpret, okay. right? Yeah. To, to, to try to make this square peg fit through the round hole, you know? it, it's very telling. Okay. My response to that would be when I was starting to unpack and break down mm. this later doctrine of the Trinity, because the things I'm telling you are pre, -trin pre Council of Nicaea, these are the things that were in place before the doctrine of uh, the, the, the Trinity uh, formulated at the Council of Nicaea in response to the Arian heresy. So far for me, far from it being a convoluting kind of very, very strange way of going about things, God's the Father and the Holy Spirit was worshipped as God in the temple. Now those are two big things I don't that think the, the Holy Jews ever worshipped as God. The Holy oh. Spirit was worshipped as God in the temple. So you're telling yeah. me I that... I have to give you evidence. So are you telling me that the yeah. Jews considered yeah. the Holy Spirit someone Many. other than God the Father? No, they considered him to be a manifestation of the one God. But was he the Father? The father is the he, he was a manifestation from Just the father. The question, no, 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 simple no. question. No, no, he wasn't. He father. wasn't the father. The spirit is not okay. the father. So let They're us there. get one thing straight. You can have that. Did the Jews, yeah. when they worship God, yeah. did they worship the father? And the Holy Spirit, or just the Father as God? Okay, in the temple? Anywhere. No, in the temple. Anywhere, is, my friend. Anywhere. We're talking about the Holy Spirit I'm right now. I'm telling you, anywhere. Okay, I'm going to, an I'm going to answer that question. Most holy place. I just quickly rewind Remember, because you said I needed to finish. Entities. No, I, no, I need to, uh, They're not different, different entities. entities. Oh, they're, they're the not same, different entities. They're the same entity. Did can I, same entity. Can I, no, 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 look. You now, made a now, right Hashim, now. Hashim, Hashim, I've got to go back to that initial statement that I made. I've, I've found out in my own research, and it didn't take long, but I have been pondering this question because as, as a Christian coming into Christianity, this was the doctrine that someone said, if you can't explain it, how can you believe it? Yeah. And that really told on me. I mean, and this, you, you I, I'm nearly there. I'm, yeah. I want to answer what you just said. You made a few statements where you, you mentioned about this whole idea of the Trinity that's been discussed, and it's so you've got to bend and twist and things like that. I needed to go back to the, the monotheistic foundations of Christian belief and find two principles that are so apparent that they are the leaping point to Jesus as God. But And, and I think I, I've shown you that and correct me if I'm wrong, the Jews worshipped 
God the Father, and they worship the Holy Spirit of Colin, God in the Temple Colin, of Solomon. Colin, Colin, Please Colin, correct Colin, me if I'm wrong. Colin, you are wrong. No, hold on. On, what Colin, Colin. on the point that you are, first and foremost, point. you need to understand, is yes. God the Father, the Holy Spirit? Is God the Father, the Holy Spirit? No, the Holy Spirit proceeds from the Father. That wasn't my question. Yes. Is God the That's Father, the Holy Spirit? Like your son no. proceeds from I know, you. I know. Actually, your son is not you. Spirit of God now, is now hovering now over no, the water. No, no. What does this mean? No, what does this mean? The, what does this mean? Very often in the park, yeah. you'll have simple initial principles that I first want to establish, or anyone should actually establish, before we then go to the layer Colin. of the theological uh, Colin, you backup. My, that's you, what I'm trying you, to do, you, Colin. You, you I'm missed, asking you, you the other you, same. You missed my fundamental point here. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll, the fundamental I'll, point here was this. Yes. Was the Council of Nicaea set up in the 4th century? It was 325, wasn't it? Which that, is the 4th yeah. century. Fourth yeah. century. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So in the 4th century, mm. this Trinitarian view of Jesus yes. was finalized and solidified in the 4th century. It was existent before that. I'm not saying it was existent or it wasn't existent. I'm saying it was finalized. Actually, it was finalized even later than yeah. 381, 381. The Council of Constantinople. The, right. the nature Const of doctrinal definition, this might help you. The church only define something when confusion comes into the flock. Right. They don't okay. just wait for a time Fine. and say, well, maybe we'll decide so, it so now. My point there to was you, a question against a, right. a, a, a doctrine that was understood within the yes. church that they needed to make a definition now, on. Now, we have historical evidence, historical evidence, historical yeah. evidence, that in the early and the latter part of, of, the, of the fourth century, mm. this very foundational belief that could condemn you to hell or heaven, right? Mm. I.e., to commit the the most heinous crime in the sight of God, according to Christians or to Muslims, right, which is, is to attribute partners to God. Okay, yes. Yes? yes Agreed? Agreed. Okay. This is being debated and discussed in the fourth century. Mm. And that is my point to you, yes. Colin. Yes. More than yes. 300 that, years after Jesus. It's three, still being debated. Theologians it, exactly. will continually and debate that, these and things. And that is my point yes. to you. Yes. Mentioned before. That was it, it mentioned before? Whether it was mentioned it, before it, or not mentioned before. My yeah. point to you is this. Yeah, what is your point, point In Islam, yeah. 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 where do we have historically in the 1400 years, mm. the concept of Allah's oneness being ever discussed? The Tawheed is solid, solid from it's the Quran. It's not, it's even the Shia. Or the, uh, uh, you know, the even Kadiani. the Ahmadi, yeah. Qadiani, who we don't even regard as yeah. Muslim because yeah. they, they, they invented a new okay, prophet. I, I can try and they do not discuss the oneness of the Tawheed of Allah, okay. the oneness of God. My answer to that, to so that my, would my, be this. So my point fi to finish off is okay, this, yeah. is that as a Christian, mm. that should definitely uh, make you think that how comes such a uh, foundational concept mm. yeah. is being debated Mm. Not only that is being finalized, not only finalized. that, well, not, being debated. Yeah. not only that, but those who don't follow the Trinitarian view mm. are heretics and will yeah. be burnt to the stake. I think that fundamentally as a Christian, okay. you should ask the question, what was going on for those 400 years? Yeah. And for me, and my, why okay, is it, like you said, okay, it's Abbas. still being debated today. Yeah. Why is it being debated today? Theologians, from whatever religious background that you want to name them, and there'll be schools of thought, schools of understanding. I think you have your schools of jurisprudence. You've got four of them, I think. Within Islam, That's there is, the and it's a good I thing. thing. To okay, no, no, but what, what I'm trying now, to say is started. that it's legitimate within any faith group that theologians discuss the, the depths of some of the, the, not, the, the not, not the about Tawheed. No, no, no. Well, this is this not is why about Tawheed. Christians, not right? Not about the oneness believe. of God. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. What historical Christianity believed prior to Nicaea, and this is what I hold to. Okay. Prior to Nicaea, they held that there was one God who manifested himself in two persons, the Holy Spirit in the temple and in Jesus Christ, who could be seen as a tabernacle as well. And if you see him as a type following the Holy Temple, uh, the, the Shekinah Holy Spirit in the temple, it's perfectly coherent, but only if God has the attribute of omnipresence. So if wait, he doesn't, it's nonsense. Did he say nonsense. true? And that happens to be the Father, sorry, the Holy Spirit you, you have, and the Son. No, you now have you got rid one, of the Father. No, no, no. no. You have Indian one God yes. and two manifest manifestations of his divine presence here on earth amongst men. Okay, so who is that one, one God? One the temple. Who is that one God? The one God is the Father, the one Good. unbegotten And God. then you have what? The two manifestations. Two manifestations. Okay. In the temple, we both, the Jews agree that God was manifest in the temple. Does anyone deny that that's what they believe? Well, the Jews, do they believe who was in the temple? Yeah. Was it a different entity to that of the Father? 
That is a question you haven't answered yet. They didn't need to ask, uh, even ask See, questions like that. that. It was the you same. No, exactly. no, no. The third no, time I asked him this question, was, he's no, evading it. No, you, what you're saying to me I is, you said it was, is, was it the Father in the temple or the Spirit in the temple? Is that what you're actually My saying? My question is that one God who was in the temple, was yeah. it the Father or was it the Holy Spirit? The Father sent his Spirit to the temple. Is that who was it from the two? Enough? It was that. It's the Spirit. The Spirit is a manifestation of the Father. But is, the, is, is that the, coherent okay, here's enough Here's a question you need to answer to make this clear. Okay. Is the spirit, yes. which is in the temple, yes. the same entity as that of the father? Yes, the same essence. Okay. Exactly so the you're same. saying, no. wait a minute. Yeah. So same you're word. saying the father the is the Holy Spirit? The father, the Holy Spirit proceeds from the father. There he goes again. Yeah, no, no, look. See what I mean? yeah. No, no, I've answered it. It's yeah. totally this coherent. Is, this is entirely Sorry. unnecessary. Yeah. Oh, please the do, please do. Christian doctrine. It's incoherent. It's entirely it's unnecessary. Yes. Because if this is the spirit of God, it's God. So you don't need yeah. to say that this is Shekinah. The word, word Shekina. is God. Yeah, Shekinah no, 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 is Sakina in Arabic. It's the yeah. same word. Yeah. Shekinah, Sakina. Actually in Arabic it means tranquility. Nothing to do with it. Yeah, well, so when you believe in the God, you have tranquility. That's but what this means. is what the Jews believed. The what? Jews constructed the, Jews the temple and the Ark of the Covenant. I know we had this discussion before. Colin, the Ark of the Covenant Colin, was commanded by God to be built. If that's okay with them, I'm more than happy. But does Abbas mean Jews? believe in Henotheism, which is to say, the Jews did not perfect their monotheism. Throughout their history, they kept slipping. So they were told to worship the one God. Mm -hmm. They accepted it. No sooner had they accepted it, they would start a bit Periods of apostasy, yeah, I'm aware of that. Loads of periods of apostasy. For sure, yeah. yeah. So the golden this, calf, remember? There's yeah, so many. Yeah. The people but, the but, but what's so that many. got to do with the Temple of Solomon? It has everything to do with the Temple of Solomon. Please. Because if end. you look at the religion itself, yeah. as they have written it down, according to what they have written down, it is clear that they were not yet uh, religiously mature. In the, no, I, I was looking okay. at your. Yeah. No, I was looking at your. Anyone you want. Anyone yeah. you want. No, yeah. the thing at the back. Tell with yeah. the images. Oh yeah, the temple. The images on the. Yeah. They're actually in. They're actually in the Bible. Yeah, exactly. We, we had. You, you believe scene, God yes. would ask human beings. To carve effigies on the ark? I believe this, the no, Jews be believed no, it. No, no, no. I, I believe the Jews I believed don't it. Believe this that is the God thing. would ask humans after he expressed himself in Exodus, I am the one who shall make no living. He yeah. would not ask humans to do that. Wouldn't make this sense. This is what you call henotheism. Okay. When, let me land, God. Come. You land. Right? You land. Yeah. This is when human beings are not sufficiently theologically mature to conceive of a God that they cannot touch or apprehend with their senses. So we start to say, yes, Abraham, yes, we agree with you, Abraham. And as time passes, we start adding things to the religion. Ergo, prophets have to come later and pull humans back to right. the one true God. God. So a That's lot of these things that you think that the Jews believed in the Bible, they may have believed it, but it may not, because we know those scriptures that you're saying have been corrupted. Yeah. So we know that they have put these things in to make their God more tangible. And all this nonsense about Shaquille and all that. To me, that is all what you call henotheism. Monotheism in which a bit of polytheism creeps back in. Yeah. That's yeah. all that. Okay, can I answer that? I, yeah. like it. I believe that the Jews believe this. That's my statement. That's all I'm saying. That's what he's That's all I'm saying. He's agreeing with you. Agreeing with you. And I'm also you. agreeing. I'm also saying that As history. As an anthropologist, yeah, I'm explaining for sure, it to you. For sure. And would you yeah. agree with me? Because I've got great respect for what you said yeah. and the way I've heard you talk before. Yeah. But and I also believe that the historical data backs yeah. up the fact that there was such a building as the Temple of Solomon. And I also know there was something called the Holy of Holies. Because this is on the Day of Atonement. Were there images uh, in it? Let's just agree with this first. Well, can, we, can, we la can I land images? this first? Can I land, land this one first? Away, land okay. Away. I believe the Temple of Solomon was built, commanded by God, to house the tabernacle which is known as the Holy of Holies. It's known as the Holy of Holies because that's the dwelling place of God. I believe historically this was the case and the Jews accept it. You are free to say I don't accept it and you can tell me why you don't accept but it. it. But all Colin, I'm trying to establish Colin. is what they believe. But, yeah. Colin, but you would agree, me? I'll just finish this. Yeah. This is what the Jews believed, yes? And they were wrong to do so. And God, that's why God punished them on numerous occasions. Okay. They were wrong to do it. So they were wrong to have the Day of Atonement was wrong then. All of their their, their sacrificial system ultimately you know, was I'm wrong. Saying anything that goes against absolute Tawheed okay. was wrong. Right. So carving images on the ark were wrong. Okay, wrong Let, let's say that was the wrong thing to do. But yeah. the principle that this is the place where the sacrificial system was enacted and this was the dwelling place of God is unarguable as far as 
history and, 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 and the Jews are concerned. So Would you, you agree with that? Can I just ask, do, do, do you agree with that? Do you agree with that? You know, the, the fact that Jews believed it and the historical data seems to back up the fact that the sacrificial can I just make one situation was yeah. centered around Jews. Okay. No, you agree, uh, no, your no, brother's much more knowledgeable than I am. The word seems. I understand, but the, no, no. He makes an emphatic point and then says the archaeological data seems because he knows this is my own. Because I know you'd refute him, so I didn't want to make a statement. more knowledgeable than me, definitely, but just. Looking at yeah. that logically, yes. it, you're, you're saying that these images, because they had this, yes. you're justifying your belief of, in accordance to what they had. Yeah. No, no, can I rephrase no, that? No, 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 let me rephrase it. Hard. You've asked me a question. No, no, what I'm, what I'm saying is that as far as the Jewish scriptures say, and we can go and we can argue about the corruption of the scriptures, but as far as the Jewish, the consistent Jewish scriptures that I have access to, these verses which come from Exodus Colin, are in them Colin, and, the, Colin, and the and the archaeological evidence well, shows Colin, that the temple point, exists. My, my, That's my, all my, I'm po saying. My point to you is this if though. I'm wrong, my point to you is this though. Yes. The Jews at one point worshipped the calf. They did. Right? So clearly they made mistakes. They, they the did, golden calf. They, yes. they did bad they things. Yeah, yeah. So you referring to something they said or that they did as justification for you accepting it or denying it yeah. is irrelevant. Mm, that's not so. that's I, his point. No, no, no. Can, can I just say this? At the very centre of Judaism was the temple. If you understand the purpose of the temple, why it was built and who commanded it to be built, it opens up all the answers that I needed Colin, to hear. Your justification, what, what? brother, yeah. your, your justification for something that they did or they wrote, yeah. or they believed, yeah. is not a justification for truth. It simply is a, possibly a historical fact that, that they did this. Me. It, uh, that will do me. No, uh, but, but what you should be what concerned about, on. Colin, Colin, what yes. you should be concerned about yes. is not what the Jews might or might not have done, or what they may or may not have believed. What is important for you, mm -hmm. Colin, and for yeah. me, and for the brothers here and sisters yeah. here, yeah. is that we do what is in accordance to the teachings of the Creator. Exactly. So exactly. you you saying that they did this or they believed this or they wrote yeah. this yeah. is not a justification for your theology today. And it shouldn't they be. Also I'll tell Jesus. you why. I'll tell you why is it is. Be now... Because if Christianity builds on on Judaism its found, as its foundation, and if Christianity makes the claim to be monothe you, monotheistic, it it's no, important that I... Are, can I just finish? Please, please I'm nearly done. I'm nearly done. Please please challenge your premise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, I told you... challenge, yeah, go if if it was built on the premises of Judaism, then Jesus would be accepted as the Messiah. The fact that Judaism rejects Jesus, even as a prophet of God, let yeah. alone a Messiah, yeah. it shows us clearly that your belief is not built on Judaism. Yeah. Yeah. You might have but taken, you accept wait, the wait, Messiah. You might have certain things which overlap with Judaism, sure, just like sure. the Muslims have certain yeah. things yeah. which overlap well, with Judaism. This because we share, but you, but we you, share hold, something hold here. On, we both on, believe in the Messiah your, 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 that the Jews reject. No, no, your, your foundation, We're in the your foundation, from what I know, is mm. mostly built on what Paul preached rather than what no, Jesus preached. No, absolutely not. No, if I, you believe, I have Colin, Colin, studiously... Let me finish. I let you finish. I let you finish. You're right, you're right. Yeah. That's the reason I mentioned John 17, 3, which you didn't want to actually pick on. Okay. I wanted you to bring bring you back to the, the found, uh, sorry, which whom you consider as the founder of your faith, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. So if Jesus Christ himself considers and believes and worships mm. and prays to one entity, Yes. And that is only the Father yes. as the only true God. Because when Jesus was asked how to pray, yes. what was his response? Father in heaven, yes. call it by yes. the name, yes. thy kingdom come, yes. thy will be so done. Our Father in heaven. Yes, remember the prayers properly. And the our Father in heaven. Even, 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 even the people said, show us the Father. Show us the Father. You have seen me. I know, I know, I know. You've done that. Well done. You'll have to be quiet for the next 10 minutes. You've had a good session. 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 Then I can say, yes, you are following Jesus Christ mm. to the letter by yeah. saying that we worship the Trini triune God. However, every time when mm. Jesus was asked about whom to pray to, yes. he would always direct you to only one person, not to three persons. Mm. Are you with me? Yeah, I'm not totally So when Jesus you, says, yeah. our Father in heaven, yes. hallowed be thy name, yeah. yes, he's yeah. only talking about one person, not three persons. Yeah, I agree, right? I agree, yeah. When he needed something, 
Yes, mm -hmm. he himself would pray to the Father. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. he himself would fall on his face yeah. and pray to the yeah, Father yeah, again. Yeah, 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 yeah. When Jesus, in John 7 and 3, when he says, This is eternal life, that they may know you, referring to the Father, yes. as the only true God. Yeah. Oh. Yes, Amen. Oh. Yeah, I and agree. Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. For sure. Now, what did he mean by the only true God as the Father? Mm. Can you please elaborate on that? Okay. I believe, and I don't think there's any Christians that you'll meet in this park who will say they believe in three gods. I've yet to hear one. I believe, I'll only just talk on my own, on my, on my own part, on, on behalf of my church, I'm a Catholic, okay? So you're I'm a Catholic. Catholic. I'm a Catholic, yeah. okay. Okay, there is only one God. The first line of the Nicene Creed is, I believe in one God. Yeah. Every Every statement after that is I'm totally to, to no, is, let's let's stick with with this. We're leaping around. We're leaping around. Oh, you have, you go in the corner <laughs> with him somewhere. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Is she a Roman Catholic? Yes. Roman, and not all Catholics. Mary, not Mother, all Catholics are Roman, are they? So which Catholic? Are hang on, hang on. Can I can I can I just get onto this first? Let's, make his point. let's get okay, first go principles done before we get down in, in the dust. Let's just go right. There is only one God, and the first line of the Nicene Creed states that and that is immovable and every subsequent statement is totally to subservient to the one rule of the oneness of God. However, we have a dilemma. In the scriptures, the Christian scriptures, there seem to be verses that would contradict the oneness of seem God. Seem to be. Right. So we need to bring in some other data to try and make sense of this. And this is where exegesis is a very, very important tool. So you and my are method, responding to the I'm talking, I, I am trying to, I'm, I am I'm trying, so you, I'm you trying. You remember to. it's the only true God there and not only, just one God? We believe the there's only, only one God. God. There's only one yes. true God. There's only one true God. The only true God and according to Jesus. God. It is the one, one, yeah, one true yeah. God. He says the only. The only true God. The emphasis on the term only. Exactly, yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know. Now, now Christians believe, this is, this is very important because I think sometimes in discussions between Muslims and Christians, people give their opinions on their verses as opposed to bring what belief system they hold to. So you would bring uh, the I Hadith. I read it yeah. from what yeah. Jesus said. Oh, okay, so all I can really do is tell you how the Christians reconciled the oneness of God and the two manifestations that seem to have happened in the Christian scriptures, which include the Old Testament. The first one I've attempted to, to prove, and I think I have, can I, I, I just finish this, is the fact that Jews, and my friend here would say they were probably apostate Jews, and this is something that you can't bring as evidence, but I know it's consistent that Jews worshipped God in spirit in the temple. The temple was commanded by God to be built. The Ark of the Covenant was, and God's presence filled it. And I've got so many verses, but it's good that we're not going into this because I don't want to get there. I'm, no, I'm nearly there. I I'm, nearly, based on Jesus. I'm nearly not there. Not the Jews, not now, the Muslims, not the Catholics, now not the Protestants. Now let's launch into the meat. Based on now Jesus. let's launch into yes. the meat. Christians believe that Jesus. that Jesus had two natures. Yes. He was true God and true man. Well, no, no, but right. no, this is the start. This that's is right. the opening. The word became became flesh. This is my o the opening word statement. Flesh. Please, 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 please. Yeah. Let's let him finish. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you as long can, as you, you answer the question, that's fine. Yeah. 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 Let, let him finish flesh. whether he answers you or not. Because you gave me a series, Hashim, of verses where... I'll just give you one verse. No, you gave me three. Okay, give me the one. Let's get to the big one. Let's get to the big one. John chapter 1, verse 1. Stop interrupting. John 7... Before yeah. you forget, yes. let, him, yes. let me remind you again. So it's only one verse I gave you. No, that you, did, was, you did give me three. You were said the no, no, greater than one. I and... Uh, no, no, I didn't give you that. I gave you only John 7 and 3, which you need to elaborate on. Yes? And explain to me what does Jesus mean yes. when he says the only true God yes. is the Father. Right. This is and what I'm Jesus trying Christ. to do. Okay. Believe it or not, this now is what I'm trying to do. The question that you need to answer is based on what Jesus said. God. Regardless of what the Jews believe, or the Catholics oh, yeah, believe, can, or the Protestants yeah, believe, we, we or can, even the Muslims believe, yes, answer yes. what did Jesus mean when he says right. and emphasizes that the only true God is the Father right. I can give, and Jesus Christ I can himself. give you my personal opinion or the opinion of the Christians whose books we're quoting from. Yeah. On this, I would I would always, yes. this is for me what I'm trying to teach myself is I want to adhere to the earliest understanding of the group of people whose books we're discussing. So you're not going to discuss I, no, what Jesus said? No, no, no it's very, very You'd rather discuss what they believed no, in the time no, of the Jews? No, the verse you've given me yes. is from a book. 
That which book, book is that? From the from the New Testament. Yeah, nothing uh, to do with Judaism. Uh, yeah, hundred percent. We'll, we'll, yeah? we'll leave Judaism Good. when we can all, our shoulders can go down. Thank God. Okay. Go on. <laughs> okay. Okay. The books we're talking about are the books of the Christians. The Gospel. Is it the is Gospel of John? Okay. Now those books initially were were the um, uh, the utterances of the people who witnessed the things that Jesus said and the things that he did, which initially were through oral, it was word of mouth, we all agreed on that. Before a single word of the New Testament existed, the gospel was being spread via word of mouth. Yep. Now, I can only give you an answer that's coherent and consistent and recorded by those people who transmitted the gospel prior to it being written down. And they, they maintain that God was true, that Jesus was true God and true man. He had two natures. So in answer to your question, where Jesus would say to, um, to worship the one true God, yeah? Who is? It's, it's entirely consistent as Jesus as a human being to say that. Would yes. you agree? Yes. 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 Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. So not only, that, not only that, do you Ross agree that he's, he's a perfect one. human being? John 1, as far as sinlessness goes. goes. Not only sinless, in every way. Is he not perfect? Jesus Christ. Oh. Jesus Christ, is he not perfect in every sense? Can we stick with the first Organ. thing? Because this, this is slightly different. Now, let's Organ stick with the first thing you gave me. me. James, no, said. this is very important because... No, no, he still has no, 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 no. In answer to your question, because this seems to me the question that is, the, is, is, is like, this is the linchpin of the whole thing. I'm, really and all, I'm glad and all, you recognize yeah, that. And all I, all I can do is say that at the Incarnation, when Mary was filled with the Holy Spirit, that Mary there was a few... Yeah. Mary, 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 Mother of God incarnate. Incarnate. Yeah. Yes, okay. Oh, she's also right. incarnate. Right. We, we, From we, what? Yeah, yeah. Cr From what? <laughs> Christians know that Jesus didn't have an earthly father. Okay. Yes. We're all standing here. We represent, we're two realities. When I look at you, I see your mother and your father, and I can see you and your mother and father. Now, yes. now right, Jesus girl. took flesh from his mother only, we're uh -huh. agreed, aren't we? Uh -huh. Which we are. No, are you you with me? no I, I am. I'm, I'm breaking it flesh. down for you. Please, please. But you're Jesus, already telling what we believe. Jesus took it's flesh power. and human nature from his mother Mary. Does this consist? Do you, are, you, are you happy with that? Yes. You would as a Muslim agree. I know that is your belief. Okay. Carry on. Okay. Yes. His father's nature, which is the one God. The one true God. Yeah. Is dwelling in the man Jesus Christ. That's right. For that to be possible, God would have to have the attribute of omnipresence. Colin, Colin, and he Colin. does, according to Judaism. No, 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 and this is why Colin, I, I think I've no, you down. Colin, you know your point. Colin, you know your point about. Very clear. You know your point about. Yeah. Yeah. Colin, you know your point about. 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 You know your point You know your point about. You know your point about. You know your point about. You know point that I'm going back to the earliest teachings and this Trinitarian concept. It's a little bit disingenuous. I hope not. I, I'll tell you why. I wouldn't risk my I'll, salvation. I'll, 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 I'll tell you why. I'll, I'll tell you why. No, no, I'm not, I don't mean that disrespectfully. No, no, fair enough. Because there were clearly lots of people at that time mm. that believed that Jesus was not God and that he was a messenger of God. Can you show what, me the evidence? Oh, for that? please. Oh, please. Do. You please need do. me to show you the evidence. I do need it. I do need it. Okay. No, no, no. I need you. can't. Jesus himself. Jesus himself. Like you said, Jesus was a perfect man. Yes. I'm Can sure you knew. What Abbas was okay, yeah, yeah, were there early early Jews <laughs> who followed Jesus? Uh, say again. Were there were there early Christians who actually were Jews who followed Jesus? Yes, the whole of the New Testament right. church. And was what, Jewish. They, what was their concept of Jesus as God? 